Hey, this is Max here, and in this lesson, we're going to talk about another growth tool. So we're going to talk about the customer chat. So let's just dive right in, and I'll explain what it is, how it works, and how you can set it up. So what is the customer chat? So it is a chat bubble that you can basically add to your website. And then when people click that bubble, then basically a little window expands and then they can message your page directly in Messenger to start your Facebook Messenger bot without that they even have to leave your website. So pretty cool. So what can you use it for? So you could, for example, use it to add a chat to maybe a membership site to answer questions that people might have during lessons. Or you can add a chat to your sales and checkout pages to figure out what information might be missing. So a bit of a downside with chat, I think is, and chat on your website, is that usually people expect an answer really fast, maybe within three minutes, maybe within 10 minutes. So that's a bit of a downside, but the benefit at least with Messenger is that when they leave your website then, you can still answer their questions because they opted in with Messenger basically. But it's something that you maybe wanna keep in mind. So I, for example, like to add a chat to my sales and checkout pages, not to necessarily answer all those questions that people ask. And I know that's maybe a little bit bad, but I can just not handle all those questions. But I still really wanna figure out what information might be missing. So if people are then, for example, asking about my refund policy again and again and again, then I know like, okay, hey, I really have to make this more clear. So how do you use it? So let's just dive into manage it and then I will show you how you can set it up. It's pretty easy. So you go to widgets. And then here you find your list with all your growth tools. And then you can recognize live chats with this bubble here. So I want to create a new one. So we're going to create a new growth tool. And then I will call this live chat. So I just always like to give it a clear name so that I know, hey, this is a live chat. And this is for a product called bots that convert, for example. So this is an example I want to add to a sales page. And then you go down here. And then we go to customer chat. Now, then you have your opt-in flow. So this is the flow that will start when someone starts a conversation in that. And then you can have your setup. So to make your chat show up, so this is what it looks like, by the way, you have to install the JavaScript snippet. So you have to add this to the head of your website. So if you already did this for another growth tool, you don't have to do it again. And also make sure to authorize your website. And then you can also change the language of this by going to this wheel here or just go to settings and growth tools. And then you can change the, the language that you wanna use in there. So mine is set to English right now. And I also disabled the branding. And then you can set some visibility settings. So either you show this on all your pages on your website, and then you just hide it on specific pages or you only show it on a few pages. So if you leave this empty, it will just show everywhere. So I guess you do not want that. So I, for example, only want to show it on, um, on, on this sales page. So I would say here, maxvankollenburg.com slash p slash bots that convert, and then everything that comes after that. So if you wanna know what these are for, just go to visibility settings and here they explain how all of that works. So I'm adding two of these stars and then basically everything that comes after that, then it will show that. So that is pretty cool. Then you can also change the color. So I could, for example, change this to yellow to my branding and then oh, I think that looks quite nice. And then you can have a greeting message for logged in users and you can have a greeting text for logged out users. So I would always use something like this. Any questions about bots that convert, let me know. And yeah, I would not really know how I would differ here from logged in users or logged out users. So I just use the same, but maybe you know a cool solution and then you can use it in there. And this will basically show when the bubble is not folded out. So if you go to the manage and help article, then this is what it will look like. So then they click chat, then it will open, and then you will have a conversation that looks like this. And then you can also set if it will show on mobile and desktop, or desktop only, or mobile only, so I leave it up to you. And then you can also say, okay, when first seen, show only the messenger bubble, so then only this bubble will show, so only this bubble down here. And then you can also say after a delay, so maybe after 15 seconds, 
then you want to show and then hide the window or you want to open the chat window uh, immediately. So it's just some interesting settings there. And then you would activate it and check it. Now then I want to show you one example flow that I created. So by default, it will just make something like this. So you can either edit it or you can replace it. So I want to use this one. So I will replace it here, replace, and then I'll search for it. I'll type here live chat, and then we need this one. And then I click here, select this flow. And then this flow will start, oh, and then I first click save here. And then this flow will start as soon as someone talks to the bot. So what I did here, so you see it here also now, by the way, in the starting step that we have the customer chat, but it is still disabled. I first checked the language because I'm from the Netherlands, right? I speak Dutch. So there's no point in if that Dutch people would ask the questions in English because I could just reply in Dutch, right? So if that's also the case for you, if you also speak another language than, um, than English, or if you just speak multiple languages, then you can just check here language is, and then you can select from a list. It's maybe important to mention that these languages will only show up after you have at least one subscriber with that language. It's a little bit annoying, I think, but for example, with Dutch, then you just make sure that one Dutch person subscribes to your bot and then you can make that condition. And then you see here that I ask in Dutch, how can I help you, Max? And then we use this as a user input. So after someone types something, so wait for reply from the user, only then it will continue. Then I like to wait 10 seconds because sometimes people type multiple sentences and then they say, thanks, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, and then the English version is obviously the same in a different language. And then I automatically continue to another step. I continue to this action in which I mark the conversation as open. And then I notify the admin. So I notify here myself and then they say full name, just ask the question in the live chat. And then I use here the last text input. And then I would click publish here. Then I would go back to my widget. And then you would have to test it. And then you would have to activate it. So I cannot activate it because I first have to check it. But this is basically everything there is with creating the customer chat on your website. So I think it's a pretty cool thing. So again, I really like to use this on sales pages, but you can maybe also use it inside a membership site or something. So if you have any questions about this, just let me know.